Hi guys, John here. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Foxier DC 5 to 24 volt Super Mini 520 TVL CMOS FPV camera with 0.008 lux. It's a really nice camera. We've already done some flight footage, which we'll I'll put the link onto on the bottom of this. Um, what I'm going to do is it comes in a nice box. Yeah, lovely. And get rid of that now. We'll do a little size. Now, sometimes little pictures can be quite deceiving. So I've got it next to the Sony Mini 600 TVL, a standard SD card, and the micro SD card. So that's going to give you some sort of size comparison. <clears throat> Another thing that I do like about this is I I always have this connector on. To connect it into the video transmitter so if anything goes wrong with the camera I can just slip it out and put another one in easy peasy so one of the benefits of I do like this camera though this is a very really good camera I have got it mounted on other things I also like this tilt action thing I won't go too mental on it because I'll break it and I just had to go and I'll camera to set it up so one of the advantages is a lot of people will have come across this, I've had to do it myself a couple of times, is the camera is in there and it's, everything's looking good. When you want your tilt up, what you'll find you'll have to do is cut some of the bottom plate out. And that, it's not ideal to be having to cut parts of your bottom plate out because obviously the front is where it's going to crash and that's where it's going to break. So, the little tiny fox here gets rid of this little problem with ease. So, and it does just nicely fit in there. Nice, pull it down, nice snug fit. And of course, you tighten that screw. Blah de blah de blah. Everybody knows how to do this. <coughs> and we've got it in the camera. We've got the camera in the quad. And as you can see, there is no problem with tilt. Tilt it to the moon. So that was one of the things I really liked. Plus you can mount this camera on anything. Um, make your own little backpack because it's that tiny. And what I'll do now is I'll just cut to the some footage. Um, a few words from Mr. Stephen Lydon. The setup that we actually did. What we used for the setup. Because as you can see my quads out of action for now. Right, thanks to Stephen, we're getting to test the Fox Sia little tiny mini. Let's have a look. We've got it mounted on his Falcon. It's just a bodget and scarf on here. It's right. what a third of the size of the Sony Mini. I'm gonna get some footage of the Fox here. We've also got the Aeon uh, Seville Zone antennas on there. And you know, one on the receiver on mine. Yep, one on the receiver, because he's getting a bit of break up. They were clashing slightly, I think, uh, the You got the surveil zone antenna on there. You got a little tiny, tiny immersion patch antenna on there. And when Steve's ready, Steve, have a quick word with Mr. Lydon on his thoughts. We have had a few tests with this already. What do you think to the camera, Mr. Lydon? Three. Tiny, isn't it? You could Very mount tiny. it on practically anything. I had it on the quad, and you can't. You don't have to cut any bottom plate out to get your angles. Be great on a little AXN or even something smaller. Go make yourself a little backpack out of it and just stick it on top. Yep. Stick it on top of the um, fox here. Way, whoopsie daisy. That ground's going to be a bit harder, so it's going to smash a, a bit more stuff this time, mate. No, that was a goal, though. No, it's not. 
If they'd known you were coming, what? mate, I'd have fetched that thing for you. What? 